Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm not at my playhouse I'm in my creepy basement and that's because I'm working on a little project changing out genealogy boxes as you've seen up here I got a big new genealogy box and 8 bay 1815 plus I'm very happy about that but um, at my playhouse I was playing with where am I finger this one which is an old one but it's a four bay one and I put all my good old data on that one so right now I'm gonna be copying that data over here so um, but I don't want that to go through the computer so I just wanted to show you how I do that and then at the end of this video when this one is done copying we are gonna be taking the last drive out of this Synology box which this is a bit newer oh now the screens are taking out all the light camera i have one four terabyte disk left in that one and that is going over into this synology box over here but first i want to show you how that i get this synology box over here to take the data from this synology box over here so over here at the computer i'm actually uploading a video for you guys right now this one is gonna be shown monday the 25th of april over here i have the old box right there and that has all my old video files it has up to number 300 and that's not all of them oh there is multiple pages there's seven pages but that's not important i needed uh, this folder here my playhouse underscore backup so I'm gonna go into the new Synology box, which is right here. And I made a share in here, that's just called My Playhouse. And I made a folder called Video Archive. So I want to copy all the stuff in here. Um, I have some of it, but I don't have a lot. I've just copied what I had on my computer over there. No reason to move it forth and back more than necessary, right? In this folder, I would like to mount a drive on the other box. So we can just go up. This is the old box. This is the new box. So I want the new box to mount a drive over here so that I can copy from that drive. So I will show you how I do that. You go into tools and remote uh, mount remote folder. And this is gonna be a SIF shared folder ribs. And then you need the folder name. And I have already been on it. I made sure that it, I could access the share. And I have it right here. That's the share name. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna put it over here. Which and the administrator password for this one is just empty so i'm just gonna delete that and mount and it mounted my directory right in here so on the new nas i can go into the new directory and i can select select this one and i want to go down to 300 and which one was the last one? Oh, no, it wasn't. Let's see, there. Which one? 306 I got. So if I mark everything up to 305, and copy that over. 305, there. Just go up a little bit more. Shift. Oh, mark that one and mark that one. Okay, now it's selected and right click and copy, copy move, copy to, and I can go in my playhouse video archive is where I want it. 
and it will start to copy and this will take a while uh, mostly because this old one is slow as hell um, it copies with something like 10 12 megabytes per second when we are lucky so we can probably see that when this uh, when this gets started that might also take a while okay it started and it tells me that this is gonna take a day that really doesn't matter right now it's copying with nine megabytes per second and there is a couple of terabytes there I think that we might actually be able to see how much there's nothing else on this NAS so if we go in here and see the disk overview uh, that's the new one that's not the case storage manager let's see how much data we are transferring 2.43 terabytes so that's um, that's gonna take a day so this video didn't go totally as planned right now it is working but um yeah i want to tell you what's going on here i wanted to copy the data off here all my my playhouse files and i wanted them over there right so i started copying from this box and over to this box and that worked uh, really well for about two folders and well then this broke down that wasn't good but uh, nothing was damaged it just had some kind of a writing reading error on it and um, well it took me a couple of days to figure out what that was but in the meantime I found out that this is so slow so if I was going to change a drive over here uh, would it be a bad idea to be copying data over here for days and days and days so instead I have put on a single three terabyte disk here in the middle so right now I'm copying data from this dude and over to this dude and it's actually just connected to the to the box itself that's well, not in there very well well that's good enough apparently so that one is just copying data over here and when that is done well i'll unplug that cable here and i'll plug that one in instead and then copy it over here instead right here i'm copying data over and it's a 22 percent and over here i have my new synology nas right now i have used the 72 percent of the space available that means that i've used 13.6 terabytes and i have 19.6 terabytes available just want to show you the disk group in here uh, i have a small 20 terabytes here and well i have done some videos on this and here are the different disk sizes that are in the box i have a four 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 three three two two four um, so i want to i want to exchange one more of these two terabyte disks to get some additional space and down here on the floor right next to my camera case i have my old synology box and oh, okay the camera don't know if it wants to give me extra light ah, okay this is a two-hand job apparently oh there it is and we have a four terabyte disc right here and i want to put this in my new Synology box up here. So I think we should do that. So let's um, let's turn it off. Up here is a face. And we can shut down. Yes. Oh, there is another thing that I wanted to point out. Um, it's, it's a little bit noisy and I've been touching it. And I can kind of feel that this hard disk is vibrating, this one. So I'm gonna be changing that one because I don't like that. When it's vibrating, um, it's probably also the one making the noise. Oh, it's already done. So let's take... Uh, oh, it was open. There it is. Let's take this out. And we will exchange that for the other one. <laughs> Look at that there. Uh, very very much alike it's both the touchy drives 
This one is a couple of years older than this one, but otherwise this is just a two terabyte and this is four terabytes. So, so we'll just take the case here. Uh, how do we do this? Take these off. Take the disc out. Take the new disc. Put that in. Take these and put those on again. some of the dust and we can put this back into the system so put that back in so now that when I um, turn this on it will be complaining it will take a little bit to boot Yeah, now it's um, up and running and it's complaining. It has a bad disc. It figured that much out. So let's see if we can go back in here. It automatically starts the control panel for me. And there's a big button here to turn off the beep. Kill the beep. Thank you. Okay. And here it says that there is one unused disk and attention. Disk group. Okay, disk group. I'll manage my disk group and I can repair it here. And I can include disk number six. That was the one we just changed and it's another four gigabyte disk. So we're gonna and all the boxes are already checked. Are you sure? Yes. And by putting this disk in instead, I also get about two terabyte more disk space. So apply that. It will be saving that for a little bit. And it will start over here. Yeah, it's uh, making a consistency check. That will take a while, a good day probably. Right now I only have one two terabyte disk left in here. I do plan on going out and buy some big disks. I'm dreaming about eight terabyte disks, two of them, just to uh, get some really big ones for my array. That's the good thing with these Synology and this Synology Hybrid Raid SHR. You can mix up the disks as I'm preaching in a lot of videos, right? So, well, 11, 0.11 15% now so it's uh, it's working on that and here I have the other Synology box and it really looks a lot like this one look at the front of it oh. this is a disk station DS 411J and I think that the 11 is the year that it's from. DS is disk station, 4 is the number of drives that it can take, 11 is the year and J is... I have no idea what the J is, but oh, they look very similar, but this one is a lot faster. So I'm gonna be bringing this one with me up to my playhouse tomorrow and I'm gonna be starting to uh, use this instead of the QNAP up there. Even though the QNAP has better LAN connectivity, uh, this is really better for my storage use. So yeah, that's really what I'm up to. Uh, somebody asked if they could see my a better view of my man cage down here. Uh, we could just have a turn around, see how everything looks. Screen here for my projector over there. I have a it's a HD projector, it's a small resolution. What do you call that 720p, right? Uh, down here is my main computer, it's nothing special. It's an i7-2600K, 
12 gigs of RAM and an AMD Radeon 6900 something graphics card. Over here is my 3D printer, I haven't played with that for over half a year. So I should really put it over here on the shell where it has been, I have had it there. This is all my junk, here. here I dry my clothes, have things on the shelves, have a safe full of raw tapes for filming, um, copying data, I have two screens, it's a really cheap brand, Hanson I guess it's called, uh, Hans, Hans G. It's G28 inches HD monitors, 1980 times 1200. Uh, yeah, and the idea is I can lay on the mattresses here and watch movies over here, have surround sound down here. Well, I really don't use that very much. I use way too much time sitting here at the computer editing video for you guys. Hope you like that little look at my man cave here. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.